Hi everyone, Power Query Basic again. Today, one simple but practical question. How we can convert date stored as test back into date using Power Query? In this example, we will see that only in column A are date input correctly as date. From column B to column J, they are all actually test as in different date format, but they are indeed test string. So I'm going to show you how easy it could be by using Power Query to convert all those into a real date. Let's have a look. This is the data loaded into Power Query Editor. So we can actually simply define the data column by selecting the column, clicking this icon, and then define it as date. As simple as that. In the first column, we will not have any issue because it was a date originally input. But the challenge here is under the column two and column three and the rest of the columns, they are all input as test in the source file. And here for these two columns, they are actually referring to the same date, but under different uh, regional settings. In column two, it is under MMDDYYYY, and which is also my regional setting in my computer. How do I know it? Let's have a look at my date time here. We can see that the date is under MMDDYYYY. So for this scenario under column two, if I define them as date, no problem at all. However, for this DDMMYYYY setting, because of my computer setting is different, my computer will determine the first two digits as the month portion. Do we have a month of 23? Of course not. So that's why when I try to convert it into dates by using this option, I will get all errors here. So let's have a look in one of the errors. And we can see that, oh, we couldn't phrase the input provider as a date value as the error message, because as I said, there is no month of 23. So how can we do it? Let me show you by removing this step first. Go back to this column Instead of going to define it as date directly, I'm going to use locale. By using locale, we can specify certain uh, format for different data types. Now with the change type of locale, Windows pop up, select the data type as date, and then uh, the default is my computer default, English US, and this is the format MDY, but I don't want this because in this column, the data is input as DMY. So I have to select the right locale here. I know that it is English United Kingdom. It should work. This is YMD and it is matching with my content here. Okay, bingo. Super easy. And for the other five column here, wow, we see different types of input. But the good thing is, with the English letter name, be it a short name or a long name, as long as they spell correctly, there is no ambiguity in the date. And also, the good thing is, all the year portion is having a four digit number. So it is crystal clear that. Power Query will be able to detect the exact date for all these five columns. So I can select all the five columns together by holding the shift key and also holding the shift key, click the icon here, select date. Voila, la, all can be converted into date. Super. Okay, finally, another common scenario is a date with digit number input. And originally, it is input as a test string. 
is a number as test. Okay, a number store as test. So and because it is following y y y y m m d d pattern, so we can indeed also convert them into date directly. Super easy. But one thing to remind you is, in some scenario, let me remove this step again. In some scenario, the data itself may be a whole number. Okay, it is still under YYYYMMDD format, but this is stored as a number. When this is stored as a number, we cannot go to define the date directly. Okay, if I right now, if I click replace current, it will work, but I am going to add as a new step because I want to convert the number into the date, so I want to add a new step. We will see that error because we cannot convert that big number into a date. In case your eight-digit date number is inputted as a number, indeed, we have to convert it into test first. Let me show you. Okay, assume this is the original input as number. What we need to do is to convert into test at the new steps. Okay, make sure it is going back as a test. Then we can define this test column as date and it will just work. Remember to see that at new step, then it will have the date. And the last example I want to show you that is when we have the eight digit number as the date, somehow we have to follow the pattern of y y y y m m d d, and there is no other alternative. Just as an example, if my input is m m d d y y y y, in this scenario, Paragrid cannot detect the date for it, and it will return error. And honestly, I do not know the proper way of using locale to fix this. If you know, please share with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.